Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boydston Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make a really big egg holder. Let's get into it. These egg holders, also known as egg trays or egg organizers, are becoming really popular as more and more people are raising their own chickens. My sister sent me a few sample photos of ones that she liked, and because she has a lot of chickens, I'm going to be making her holder pretty large. There are a lot of different styles of these egg holders. The particular one that I'm going to be making is a large flat tray with dividers for each day of the week, each divider holding at least a dozen eggs, making it really easy to keep track of when the eggs were collected. I started by sawing some 1x3s down to half an inch thick so my tray wouldn't look and feel so bulky. Then I cut all the pieces to length on the miter saw. To get my dimensions for the tray, I went directly to the source. I used a piece of 1x6 for the back of the tray so it would sit higher, giving me an area to label the sections with the days of the week. Since the rest of the pieces of the tray were half an inch thick, I decided to cut down the upper part of the 1x6 to match. I used the jigsaw to cut the top of the 1x6 to give it a little bit more of a decorative look. Assembly was pretty straightforward since I'm just using butt joints. Did he just say what I thought he said? <laughs> a butt joint is when you're simply taking the end of one board and butting it up against another board. Because the tray that I'm making is primarily going to stay on a countertop, this along with the glue and nails should be plenty strong enough to hold it together. But if you wanted to use your tray to actually go out and collect your eggs, I would highly recommend using some dados and rabbits to give it some extra strength. I knew that. Before putting in the dividers, I used a rabbit bit to put a 1 8 inch rabbit on the bottom of the tray to hold the bottom panel. Then I used a chisel to square off the corners. I cut a 1 8 inch piece of plywood for the bottom and attached it with glue and brad nails. I cut a few blocks of wood to use as spacers to put in all the dividers, and yes, I did go back and nail them all in place. After a quick sanding, I used some inkjet printer transfers to apply the days of the week and some decor. If you want to know how to make these transfers yourself, I have a full tutorial. I'll leave a link to that video down below. I puttied the nail holes and gave it another quick sanding and then applied some water-based polyurethane for the finish. For a final touch, I added a few handles and feet on the bottom. All right, our super huge egg holder is finished. Let's go over a few of the details real quick. Like I said earlier, this particular egg tray is for my sister who right now has around three dozen chickens and is planning on having a few more. So I wanted to make sure that there is plenty of room for all those eggs. But if you just have a few chickens, you can easily downsize the plans to make a smaller one. Now, one of the things that I messed up on were the transfers. Typically when I do these inkjet transfers, I like to do a spray coat over it first to seal the transfers in before I do the brush coats. 
but this time I completely forgot and just went ahead with the brush coats. And when you do that, it actually kind of smears the ink a little bit. And if you see in between some of the letters that there's actually a little bit of ink smudging, it's hard to see from a distance. It's not really a big deal. And it didn't do them on all the letters. Actually, the logo looks pretty clear to me, but it did do it in a few spots. So just if you do this for yourself, make sure that you do a spray coat first to seal in those transfers. All in all, this was a super quick and easy project, and you could easily batch these out for some craft sales or markets. Let me know in the comments below if you have chickens and if this would be something that you would use. We put out a new video every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.